Welcome back. Well, he is one of Australia's rising stars. Home and away actor Ty Hara shook things up when he joined the cast in 2013. With his bad boy character Andy going head to head with the infamous and really bad River Boys. We came here to say goodbye to Casey. So how about we go and do that? Show Pirovich is not going to get the better of us. Proving he can take on the dance floor as well as the small screen, the homegrown star was a fan favourite on last year's Dancing with the Stars. Earlier this year, Ty popped the question to his girlfriend, former High Five star, Feli Irvine. And Ty Hara joins us. Great to see you again, mate. Thanks for having me, guys. Last time we saw you, you were just uh, newly engaged to your partner, Fairly. Are you involved with the wedding plans or are you leaving everything up yeah, to Yeah, actually, I'm heavily involved. I'm, I'm a bit more of the bridezilla. I think Fairly's <laughs> the one that stepped back and said, you can you can kind of take it from here. She, she'd she like to elope, I think, and just run to Vegas if she could. So I'm the one that's, uh, that's taken all, all, the, uh, all the plans under my wing, yeah. Your proposal was something out of a, uh, a home and away seat. And talk us through what happened. Uh, well, Feli's lucky enough to, to be part of the Irvine clan, which uh, have a castle outside of Aberdeen. So, no, it was um, it was off-season and, and I arranged that uh, we could go there on our anniversary. And wow. luckily for me, we had the castle to ourselves and it was a beautiful place to yeah, pop when, the question. But when you rock up at a castle, is she thinking hey, this is happening? No, Surely. no, I, I thought I thought she must must have known for yeah. sure. And, and there was a few moments as well where I had, I had the ring on me the whole time throughout Europe. So I thought she must have picked it up somewhere along the way. but. Um, I guess maybe I'm a pretty good actor. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, tell us about your character, Andy, on Home and Away. Uh, he's been up to a bit of mischief with Erica Haynes. Definitely. Yeah, Erica is new to the cast, and she's such a uh, fun and bubbly personality. She's probably one of the most loved um, cast members I've ever seen come on the show, and so to credit to her um, as, as a character on and off the screen. But. There's lots of fiery stuff going, oh, there we go, a little bit of topless waitering. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're having a ball together and um, she's, yeah, a great addition to the cast. Is it awkward? We just showed before a bit of a steamy scene of you you and Erica. Is it awkward filming those scenes in front of a crew? It is if the um, the person's partner's there. But, no, it's um, <laughs> it's generally it's it's something that comes with the territory of, of uh, Home and Away and, and um, I guess, acting as well. So... Uh, you, you get used to it, but sometimes it, it can be a little bit full-on if you've only met the person for the first time and then you're lying in bed with them half-naked. <laughs> mm. First day on the job. Yeah. <laughs> as always, Matt, there's always plenty of excitement uh, yeah. going on at Summer Bay. Can you give us a bit of a hint of what uh, Andy's going to get up to next? He's got a few exciting projects uh, on, on the way, but uh, someone close to him is actually about to uh, be involved in, in a huge accident that's uh, going to be life-changing. So. Ooh. There could be some tears coming up. It's so unlike Summer Bay. No, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, any plans for you to go to Hollywood? Yeah. I've seen a lot of people from Home and Away do that. Yeah, right now, I mean, I'm just enjoying my, my time on Home and Away, but uh, America's definitely been something on the cards, and, and Feli's over there at the moment. She has her green card, so I'm rocking Han Solo back here, so I'm, I'm definitely uh, ready to go and visit her sometime soon. Oh, yeah. very good. Now, mate, we don't often see a man with nail polish on, but you are doing it for a very good cause. Tell us about it. Definitely. The Polish Man campaign, it's, um, it's to highlight the one in five children who are affected by sexual and physical violence, uh, both here and abroad, uh, before the age of 18. So we're, we're challenging men uh, over the month of October from the 1st to the 15th to, to paint one nail, to, to stand up and um, be positive role models and, and protectors and carers, not only for this generation, but... For, for all future generations. Great cause, mate. Did um, you paint it yourself, Ty? I did. I actually did this one today. I'm um, on the Very go. Good. So yeah. I'm, I'm getting good, aren't I? I've, I've had two years practice now, but um, don't worry. The other ones the other ones don't always look so good. Nice, I think nice. we, we had uh, Michael Klim on. He's doing it as well. Is everyone doing blue? Is that the colour? No, I just... Uh, blue's, blue's my favourite colour, so you can go with whatever colour you like. Yeah. Uh, I'll do a pink for you next time. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Also thoughtful, Ty. Thank you. Good on you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. For more information on how you can support the Polish Man campaign, just head across to our website. All the information's there.